about to decorate our wreath uh, pavlova and here's one I prepared earlier. I've always <laughs> wanted to say that. <laughs> I did prepare it earlier. So yeah. you made this one from scratch. I did make it from yeah. scratch. So I'll just take you quickly over how we did that. So it's just your basic meringue recipe, which you will see um, on the site. And um, all I did to make the wreath shape was to um, get some baking paper, trace out a dinner plate, and then trace out a small bowl to make the oh, circle. Wow. Yeah. And then you actually need the baking paper on it um, to bake it because it just makes it easier. And, and then, then you did can... you do it in dollops or how did yeah, you get so, the wreath shape? So the reason you get the wreath, yeah, you actually get a metal spoon and you just dollop it on until um, it all joins up and then you can sort of smooth it over. So now when you're making a meringue, uh, especially for a pavlova, the, make sure that the oven heat is very low. So about 120 and I cooked this for about one hour and that was perfect so there we go that's the one we and then when earlier. you um, store it overnight do you store that in the fridge you or actually can leave, you leave it in the oven actually because oh, it's oven, nice right. and dry so nice. once you finish cooking turn your oven off and close the door and just leave it to cool nice. and then you can pick it up overnight so that's that and a nice round plate is always nice as well so what we're going to do is um here is everything that we're using to decorate our pavlova so we have fresh raspberries mm. we I have a sneak one I know what not and they're always in season mm. Christmas time mm. we have some beautiful Turkish delight so this is a little bit of a different it's not your traditional passion fruit strawberry pavlova mm -hmm. this is going to be a little bit different a bit of Turkish delight um, some pistachio seeds and then you just cut those up which I just roughly chopped just roughly chopped yeah. them and then we're going to of course we're going to put cream on it and next we're going to do the pomegranate so it has and the pomegranate gives it like real, little mm. pretty balls I all love over. pomegranate yeah, yeah. Do you know I've never yeah. seeded one before myself oh. so, so you me that you're going to show me how to do it <laughs> So the thing, oh, I, go. the thing I do first is I just whack it a bit with a okay. um, wooden spoon and then what that does, because with the pomegranate, it's got a lot of, I call it pith, I don't know what it is, it's got a lot of the um, pith. They do call it pith. Yeah, think, yeah, and it holds the seeds in place. So if you don't give it a good bang, then it, um, it's harder to get them out. So give it a good, yeah, tip, yeah. a good bang and it loosens it up a bit and makes it a bit easier because it is quite fiddly getting them out, but it's really worthwhile. You know what I, I use these on? No. I do them on lamb. Oh, how beautiful. So I do a roast lamb and then I do it with right. the pomegranate. I love the texture of pomegranates yeah. too. I love Look the texture of it. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. So Look it's at beautiful. That. beautiful. So there's the that's pomegranate. <laughs> Beautiful. And then you can see they're a little difficult to get out. So yeah. um, do you use a teaspoon or do you yeah, use, I just a... use a spoon, but I generally just I keep banging it with this. Oh there and you go. Oh look they're coming. And then out make beautifully. sure you've got a bowl that see how it splashes. Oh hold that one. So don't wear something white. <laughs> No. And just, I well, just Christmas red, then it all matches. And I just keep banging it and then um Oh okay. See, well that's a great And then way it comes out a lot quicker. So what we'll have to do then is strain them because there's a lot of juice and um, pith going in. The juice has gone on the pav, but, but that's okay. okay, it looks pretty. And then yeah. we'll just um we'll strain them and then what I, we love about the pomegranate, and if you can see, is the colour of those seeds. So it's really Christmassy, yeah, it's, it's really red and fun and gorgeous. So yeah. Love oh. that. How much do we need both? I think that sides? might be no. I think we can probably only yeah. do one side. And then what um, I do after that, you'll see there's a few of the little bits that have fallen in. So then I just step over to the sink and I just use my clean hands. Just your hands. Yeah. And yeah, just get those out because yeah. you don't want those white bits. You just want the beautiful red. It's a beautiful seed. red color. Isn't oh, it's a beautiful yeah. flavor yeah. as well. I love pomegranate. Yeah, yeah, that's a little bit extra. Yeah. And so that's how you do it. That's how you Make do sure it. you loosen it up first and then it's yeah, a lot well, thanks, easier Tess. to do. I didn't know how to do that. I thought you could actually buy pomegranate seeds. So. <laughs> I wonder if you can. Oh, I'm sure you probably could get someone else to do the sorting for you. And there's the dog, Fluffy. That's all right. There must be someone at the door. Okay. So no, do you want someone that's using the wooden spoon? Can we strain this? We're going to strain this now. All right, so we've picked all the white pith out and you can see now there's some beautiful juice still in the bottom. So when we strain that, I think I'm going to keep that juice and I'm going to use it in a cocktail later. Oh, what a good idea. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay, so it's time to decorate our uh, Christmas pavlova and um, we pre-whipped the cream. So it's just 300 mils of um, thickened cream, a teaspoon of rose water, some icing sugar, the recipe's all on, and then uh, some vanilla extract as well. So that um, rose water is beautiful. I've never it's got really, a, yeah, I've never you really smell cooked it? as much yeah, with this rose beautiful. water. Oh, it's beautiful. So it won't take you long, just sort of dollop your cream all the way around. You don't have to cover all the meringue, it's up to you um, how much cream you want, but it's always nice for your guests to have um, a little bit extra. And when you're decorating your pavlova, um, I think it's always really nice to get people involved because you shouldn't decorate your pavlova too oh, early. that's a good idea, Yeah, isn't it? so de yeah. decorate your pavlova just before you're about to serve right. it. And what I find is nice is that you can get your um, 
family to come and help, especially the kids. They love it. They love decorating Pablo over in the So here in we popped our um, nuts and Turkish delight on some little Christmas plates. So you can just pop it on your table yeah. and then do, have that as a little activity to do. That's right. Probably That's need a little more cream. So I'll just turn that around because you're going to see it. Spread it around. So that was 300 mils of um, thickened cream. There's a little bit more so I can get out, I'm sure. Perfect. There we go. So now we're ready to decorate. And it's just a matter of doing whatever you want. Whatever. So whichever you order you want to put it in. What's that? I said whichever order you want to yeah, put it in. Yeah, whichever. So I'll how about I do the raspberries? Right. Um, do you, you want to count those or you like them on? No, I think we'll do the raspberries yeah. um, full on. So let's just throw them on however you like. And then teams, while I'm doing this, you just start throwing on I'll what throw you want to throw on. Them. Bit of pistachios. Underneath, in between your... Yeah, you can do it in between. And see how we're getting the beautiful Christmassy colours? It's starting to look really pretty already. We've only just got started. And then that pomegranate will give it such a beautiful... I hope some of the little pomegranate juice kind of runs through the cream as well. Yeah, I'm definitely going to put the rose water in there as well. Mm. So Just something a little bit different from and the traditional Christmas And we don't, don't have to Christmas use everything pack. that you've put out. Oh, no, it's always a matter of... And I reckon if, you know, my husband was doing oh. this, he would use it all. And then we cut the oh. Turkish oh, we cut the Turkish delight into um, sections because you don't want too much um, great big pieces, but that also gives it a nice little Ooh. bit of colour as well. So I might have a piece of that. <laughs> mm, that's very good. Mm. I was lucky getting that yesterday, wasn't mm. it? Beautiful. Oh, that one's stuck to the plate. There we go. I'm going to try a piece too. Mm. Very nice. So I think that's probably enough for the Turkish Delight. Is there rose water in Turkish Delight too? Yes, there is. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. okay, now we're going to sprinkle some pomegranates. Wow, that pomegranates. is pretty already. It's Look pretty that. already. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to sprinkle some pomegranates around. You can even put cherries. You can do whatever yeah. you like. Well, I suppose you'd have the problem with the cherries though is you're going to have the pips yeah. in the cherries. But this just gives it that beautiful Christmas. Oh, that pomegranate. And pomegranates, they are easy to find. So. Yeah. And then Beautiful. Pick that out of there. Oh, Simi, that looks beautiful. Isn't that pretty? So, oh, lovely. And then um, at the end, what you can do is just um, get some icing sugar, which we will do in a moment, and just put a bit of icing sugar around it, and there you go. There is your, I'll hold that up for oh, you. Oh, that's beautiful. Your Christmas wreath have over. Lovely. That's, and I like yeah. the idea how you said that you can get your friends and family involved in putting yeah, it together. Yeah, so. well, I think it's nice. And so yeah. everyone has their own style and they like to do their own thing. And I, especially the kids and the grandkids, they love to do Yeah, it's like beautiful. That. Oh, your friends. Yeah. Oh, your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tina. She's my friend to help me. Yeah, well done. There we go. We're all done. All right. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Let's go get our plates and have some. Yum. <laughs> 